Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and recently I did a video on a Wii U coat which is basically a Wii U built into a coat so you can play it anywhere you want. Now because of the global worldwide domination of the Wii U coat, a few people asked, do you know what Vince, would you be able to do a Nintendo Switch version of it? And I kind of thought, well that's going to be pointless because it's really portable. But then I thought, do you know what, there is a few things that you could do with it that might be a bit of fun. So here we go again. Vince, what does the Nintendo Switch coat do? It allows you to play the Nintendo Switch on the big screen anywhere you go. So if you have a look now, I've got a projector on the head, projecting over here. The closer you get to the object, the smaller the screen. The further away you get, the bigger the screen. And then you might say to me, do you know what Vince, I don't really like playing with the Joy-Cons, I love the Pro Controller. Can the Switch Coat do anything to help me out? Yeah, of course there is. We can attach a little monitor to the Pro Controller and then it can be our very own little mini Switch. And it's really comfortable because a lot of people like the feeling of the Pro Controller. So, the problem with this monitor is, it's a very cheap one and it hasn't got audio. So what we have to do is just use some headphones plugged into the actual switch themselves so you won't be able to hear the gameplay but you will when you're actually playing it so I'll be able to hear it but you won't for the actual video so let me show you a little bit of gameplay so this is a uh, wonder boy And then I hear you say, Vince, can we play two player, one on the Switch Mini and one on the big screen at the same time? Of course you can. I'm going to be looking at this screen here and then my son's going to be playing it on the big screen up there. And you can see that they're both working at the same time, so you don't have to look at the same screen. All right, let's do a bit of Mario Kart 8. So let me show you how the DIY switch coat works. Now it's very straightforward to do. I'm gonna show you all the insides in a minute so it'll make more sense. But basically in this pocket here, this is where we will place the actual switch itself without the Joy-Con. So it fits in there nicely. And then we've got a little USB-C cable here which is gonna dock it. So we plug this into the bottom of the switch which then docks it. It then goes into here this lining in here and basically we've got a power bank in here which outputs 12 volts and two lots of 5 volts and that's what's going to basically feed power everything so we've got to power the portable dock we've also got a power HDMI splitter and we've also got a power the little pro controller monitor that you've seen as well so then from here we then have a USB cable and a HDMI cable going up to the projector in the hood and you can see there that basically the projector is in the hood there so when you put your hood up it projects the image onto whatever you're looking at and then we also have in this pocket here two USB cables, one to charge the projector on the hood and one to charge the power bank so that's nice and straightforward as well. Now do you remember that little pro controller thing that I showed you with the monitor there, that's just powered from here. So one for the video and then one for power, uh, the 12 volt supply as well. Let me show you the inside of it now because it will make more sense when you see it out on the carpet. 
So this is the setup that we've got hidden inside the DIY switch coat. So as you can see, the image currently is on the switch there. When we plug in this USB-C cable, it's gonna go from the switch and it's gonna come onto the Pro Controller little monitor there and also onto this little mini projector here. If you have a look there, hopefully you can just about make out that uh, that is the switch home screen down there and you can also see it moving on the little monitor there on the Pro Controller. So in order to do this, what we need is, we have this docked in one pocket and we've got all this hidden inside the other pocket. So basically, we're having to use a USB-C extension cable and then from here, it goes into this little portable dock. The portable dock needs to be powered. So we've got a little USB to USB-C, little power cable to feed the dock. This is the power bank down at the bottom here. From this dock, the output is HDMI, and it goes into this splitter here. What the splitter does is it turns one HDMI signal into two. So one of those signals goes off to the projector, where you can see shining down on the floor there, and then the other one's gonna eventually feed the little monitor there, but we need to convert it to composite. So from here, it goes into this unit here, which converts it from HDMI to composite, and then this will give you the video down the yellow cable, and then the audio down the right and left, these two, the red and black, or the red and white cables. Now the problem is with this little monitor, because it's just a very cheap basic monitor, it doesn't have audio built into it. So I'm only actually using the video cable here, which gives it the picture, so there's no sounds. But obviously, if you had a, a better monitor, then of course you could put sounds down the red and white, or red and black in this case, left and right audio. And we also need to power this as well. Now annoyingly, this is from a little car reversing camera, so it's 12 volts, because it's expected to be wired up into your car battery. So I'm having to power it via 12 volts. And that's what I'm doing here from the power bank down at the bottom. So basically the power bank is feeding 12 volts to the little monitor up here, it's feeding 5 volts into the portable dock and it's also feeding 5 volts for this splitter as well. So this power bank's doing everything and then if you have a look up here you can see that that's going to work there and also here at the same time. So obviously you can use your Joy-Cons or your uh, Pro Controller. And lastly, we have this USB cable which feeds the power bank in order to charge it up. So you would have to make this accessible by putting it in to one of your pockets so you have access to it. So that basically is everything that's inside the DIY switch coat. Okay, so for this one, now we're in a tent, and what I've done is, rather than using the headphones, I've just plugged in some speakers, just so you can hear it when you're watching this. Right, okay, so uh, let's do a bit of Super Mario Odyssey. Right, okay, so you get the idea of that one. So there we go, that concludes the video on the Nintendo Switch coat. Remember, just for fun, don't take it too seriously. But if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.